Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. I'm Apollosus and for this particular episode I actually have some plans for my building here. Um, I kind of get the feeling that I don't know it's just the front still a little bit too flat so I'm thinking of making some balconies here also, um, there are some new block types out for anybody who hasn't noticed, no, been keeping up. So, I'm thinking of using those maybe, if not for these windows, maybe I'll use the panes for this section here. But enough about that, let's get started. I'm kind, I kind of want, see, I did this uh, shortly after the last episode, let me, something like that to give it a little, almost like a little um, gutter system, you could say. And... I've got a squid stuck. I keep getting squid stuck in here for some reason. I don't know why they love coming over here. Go, be free. Alright. So, as I was saying before that squid distracted me, I want to build some sort of a balcony out here. Do I have? I do not have any cobblestone. Okay. I'll go grab some cobblestone and I'm sure you guys have already know this by now, but you basically make window panes like that. And you get a really good amount of them too, and you can recover them after you use them, which is really nice. It's got to be one of my favorite blocks, right next to the, um... Huh. Don't have any here. Anyway, right next to the gray bricks. I love the gray bricks. Oh, that's right. I was working on... Put, putting a glass ceiling on this before I got distracted with the boat. Oh well, that can wait. What I find really bizarre is that squid make footstep sounds for some reason. So I hear footsteps and I think it's something following me and it's actually the squid that are underwater. Oh yeah, see I haven't played this world since I updated to 1.8.1. All of my chests are doing that. You basically have to put down a torch to uh, update the lighting. That should be 20. And we're heading back. I am so glad I did this, by the way. This is so much easier now. I tried playing some of the pre-release, but I was just upset by the weather system. They re-implemented snow, but since it's a new biome code, my main home has basically it's raining in ha one half of it and then in the other half it's snowing it's like on the seam of the biomes so I'm going to wait until the full release hopefully that will fix it if not I have some ideas um, if you just plot in a different biome code into the um, if basically if you sorry if you edit the level dot that and put in a new biome code in it it will adapt, it will basically get the weather of the new seed, but nothing else will change. I mean, obviously anything new that you generate will be generated using the new seed, but since that's the case anyway with the old world, it's not that big a deal for me. Um, so I'm probably going, I basically have to find the seed that has the right condition so that everything gets together seamlessly. And once I do that, I can get some w normal weather patterns back in my main world. And this seems like a perfectly good time for me to use this. Uh, I, f lo I, have, I love these things. They're a little bit weird to stack because I never quite know where to click them. But what's really awesome is you can actually stand right on this spot, unlike fences. It's not like you have to stand on this block and look down. And in fact, this is really cool. Check this out. If you make a square, like so, you can actually stand in the space between them. 
So you can actually trap things in there, which is pretty darn cool. Actually, let me see if... I doubt this will work, but yeah, no. But you can actually see the space where... See that little gap? You can stand on it, but it still stops uh, water flow. So this is kind of the general idea. I don't know if it'll look any good from the front though. So let's check that out now. I did get to see some of the uh, pre-release, um, 1.9 pre-release previews for the 1.9 update. And I've got to say I'm really excited about the nether changes. The nether bricks look amazing. I'm looking forward to doing things with those nether bricks. Um, come on, where's the balcony? Of course I went in the complete opposite direction. Something like that. And I might do the same thing on the top, put pillars in the corners, give it more of a uh, structural thing. But I think I'll just keep this side like this. Maybe I'll extend... I freaking hate the controls for boats. Okay, extend this a little bit. So it gives it more of a structural feel. Dang it! Freaking boat, behave yourself! Alright, and we go back in. Come on. Thread the needle. There we go. I really love this portcullis, by the way. Alright. So... And I'll need doors for the, these. Oh, not really going to be able to do a balcony over here, but actually, I think what I'll do, rather than have something like this, is kind of have one of those cool little um, balcony type things that kind of spread around, like so. I just have to start putting these as I go, so it helps me remember where I have to put my panes of glass. There we go. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a new world tour for my main world, because I've uh, completed my minecart system. I really want to show how it came out. I just have to work on the weather thing first to make sure that the world is, you know, working properly. Now, where did I do this? Okay, it extends from the block just off from this, so right there. And... Oh, jeez, I just realized I forgot something. Lighting? This thing is completely unlit. Did I have any glowstone? I can't recall if I, there was any glowstone. Let's see if I did. Uh, if there is, there's none here, and I know there wasn't any in the mine. So I guess I used up all of my glowstone. Doing what? Oh, right, those things. Alright, well, it looks like I may have to mount another expedition into the nether. And pretty soon what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be venturing out, doing some adventuring. To, uh... Dang it, I didn't want to hit the wire. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some more adventures to check out some of the new stuff that's generated. I was going to put a skylight, but I completely neglected that I had redstone wiring down here. But I need to put some glowstone. Anyway, for now, let's just do torch torch and that should be more than enough light to take care of that 
and torch, torch. And how many blocks out? One, two, three, four blocks out. One, two, three, four blocks out. That should do it. And torch, torch. And then over here, we start going just the two blocks. Dang it! There we go. Almost done. Almost done. Well, not really. I've just done two of them, and I need so I need two more. This is right, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Oh, that right. And I wanted to extend that thing. So that it looked more accurate. So dang it. I forgot this one here. Whoa, almost fell down there. That should do it. I'll do a little a, a tour once I'm done to make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. Alrighty. Come on. Apparently, with the 1.8 um, update, not actually for Oh dang it! I messed, I messed this one up. I messed this one up. It should only be directly above. I basically ended up. Did I? What's going on here? Could have sworn that there were supposed to be some stairs in the corners. Yeah, there's supposed to be stairs right there. That should be a stair. Like so. And that should be a stair. Not like so. You know, it would be so much easier if I just went back inside. Alright, well, I'm going to fix all this stuff, and I'll be right back once I'm finished. See you in a bit. And we're back, and the balconies are now complete. There you go in a nutshell. I think maybe this uh, sill makes it look a little too complicated. I don't know. Feel free to give any feedback if you feel that I should get rid of this little ledge now that I have the balconies. Some complexity is good, but this might be a little bit too busy, you know? Let me just should go up to the actual balconies and show you the view. Ooh. Oh, I stood on top of it, I guess. And my head hit these blocks. That's annoying. Whenever there's any way I can take fix that problem. Oh, and I just noticed one more thing. Got some exposed wiring up here. There we go. I could always replace these with air blocks and that would prevent it, but not air blocks, um glass. That would prevent it. So as you can see, I put the doors on most of these, just these and this one. I left this one as a full window. And this one I obviously left alone because that's more of an office area. And this is the view. It's quite nice, I think. 
I made sure to put plenty of light. I don't want some creeper hanging out on my balcony. And I don't know, maybe on the top floor I'll do something similar to this but bigger. So it almost gets wider the higher you go. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm actually out of time. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Minecraft. Bye.